if every time you stand in your wardrobe not knowing what to wear and if every time you stand in front of your clothes saying that oh it's too old it's too short it's too tight don't like that i'm not comfortable in this and if every time <laughs> you walk around you dump something and the end of the day it looks like a pile of things then you really need to watch this video in this video i'm gonna organize and declutter my wardrobe with you all using few steps that i created and i'm going to do that with you and these are steps for you as well to uh, perfect to follow and to make it easy for you so that you can make space in your wardrobe for new more items or to declutter and get rid of the things that you no longer need and i'm not going to tell you like if this item is six months you haven't been wearing or it's been two years since you wore this and you think you're no longer wearing it then get rid of it no it's not going to be like the conventional way but a very creative way so that it can make you <laughs> put you at peace <laughs> getting rid of things and be proud of your closet but first i want to show you the state of my wardrobe right now because uh this project i've been putting off and procrastinating and being lazy and um, being demotivated to do uh, for so long because uh, things keep piling up and um, I am not proud of the state of my wardrobe right now. It's a disaster. So we are going to get rid of all of this and redo it. But before we start, why don't you hit that subscribe button and share this video and write in the comments what your easy steps uh, to organize, declutter and tidy your wardrobe. I'm waiting. I do read the comments, by the way. Okay, let's start. One important note on the side before we start. If you think about it as a house chore, as an obligation, as a task that you have to do, you will be demotivated, you will cancel it, you will get lazy, you will choose not to do it or to do something that it's not important at all but fun to you because you want to forget all this. It is painful, I know. So to make it like, you know, doable we have to think about it as fun so we have to make it fun for you what are the things to make it fun for me i'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and i'm gonna put some music and i'm gonna deal with it as my project that's why i'm actually recording it and making it as my weekly vlog by like this way i'm uh having myself responsible for this and i am very at peace with myself i'm not gonna do anything today but arranging my wardrobe and getting rid of the things that i no longer need we have a walk-in closet so one side for my husband and uh, later on today he's going to arrange and tidy his side of the wardrobe and i'm gonna do the same i'm starting so he's having the baby so that i can have some time for myself so you really have to be free back to the tools I'm having here a laundry basket. This one I will put uh, in um, any blouse, any dress, any item that it needs um, uh, to um, put the button back or um, to stitch um, something. Um, any dress it has a makeup stain or um, anything needs to go to la the laundry. And the other one is an empty box. This empty box you will put inside, or in this case me, I will put inside things that I no longer need because I changed my style. Things need donation, uh, things 
I need to put them in the marketplace to sell them, uh, things I would like to gift them, um, or maybe something I'm going to um, uh, downgrade them from going out or a nice place to somewhere else. Um, this belongs to the box. If you want to have two boxes of this, like, you know, things you want to donate and things you want to sell, this is up to you. Uh, the third, third item is a garbage bag simply because all of us, we have things that we'll never wear, we can never donate, and we are not brave enough to actually throw them. So this garbage bag, this uh, plastic bag, everything that belongs here will jump inside, we'll close it, we'll tie it, and then we'll throw it in the bin, as simple as that. But a promise between you and you, between me and you, that whatever you put in the box, whatever you put in the plastic bag, you will no longer go and open it and put them back to where we throw them from. Make sense? Yes. So you need to be brave and you need to be at peace with yourself. And if it will make you happier if you want to try on a couple of things just to make a decision if you want to get rid of it or if you want to keep it no problem at all um, this is the state of my wardrobe right now and um it's it's like ah you know um, yeah it's i don't know i cannot describe my feelings right now I'm, I'm just not happy with how it looks so i'm going to uh rearrange do some color coding do some um decluttering do some shifting around um we'll see how it goes at the end of the day i'm going to make a brew and then i will be back to start stay tuned Finally, it took me the whole day. Uh, it's really dark outside there, so it took me the whole afternoon and a couple of hours of uh, the evening. Uh, but uh, the end result is um, I'm all right. I'm exhausted though, but uh, the task is done. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try my best. So all the piles on the floor gone already. And as I promised, um, I threw things and uh, I boxed uh, uh, of other things that I no longer will uh, wear and let me show you how it looks like now. So I used the upper shelf for the bags and my pashminas and um, I tried my best to color code my clothes and to uh, put them uh, by season, but um, apparently I love all the colors. I tried my best. I put here all the long dresses so that I can, uh, and here the short ones, the jackets, blazers and stuff, so that I can use the shelf for uh, those containers. Um, I put a few of my shoes here so that uh, we have different, shoe rags but I want mine to be here at least a few of them um, and here of course um, in the drawers um, I like to keep my high heels in those ones here um, and um, yep 
this is the end result. Of course, all the closets and wardrobe depends how is your uh, design or layout. Mine is not that big, but um, I didn't put everything on the hangers. I tried my best to um, make them like, you know, three colors at least, um, uh, I mean, maximum. I wanted to keep to one color, but I needed many, many hangers. So I took a few from my husband. I swapped a few with him. Um, so I didn't put all the jeans and all the pants and everything on the hangers because last time I did that, it was not a happy scene afterwards. So I really took off the <clears throat> uh, weight from the main uh, rail there. I could see this one is a little bendy. These are the boxes that I'm going to go through one more time to make one box donation and one box I want to uh, put them on the marketplace because a few of them are brand new, still with labels and I have never worn them. I put this rail here for easy use so that I can grab a couple of things uh, for my daily use so that I don't go in the wardrobe and throw things on the floor. So uh, that is the end of today. Uh, actually, I'm really happy that I managed to do it finally because as I already told you at the beginning of the video, I keep putting it off and postponing it and being lazy and feeling demotivated, but done. This is not the end result. Of course, every couple of weeks we'll go through the, th uh, the items because we keep piling them um, and we'll shift things around probably. Um, and about the, uh, the boxes, this is my pro tip. Your best to go uh, with the things that you need to donate, box them, send them away immediately. Don't keep them in the house because you will think about one and oh, but I like that one. Oh, but I need it back and you will start digging in and <laughs> get everything all out again and then uh, back to square one. Uh, about the um, things that I wanna put on the marketplace, trying to uh, sell them, I'm gonna take snapshots uh, tomorrow um, and try to get, rim, get rid of them as soon as I can. Um, that was the video of today. I hope you really like it. I hope you, um, a few tips from my today's video and um, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next week. Love you all. Bye bye.